What's going on everybody and welcome back to Glory of the Legion Hero Achievement Run where we are doing the achievement got to catch them all. Now first things first is you need to go over here and you are going to buy the Ketchum tablet for 100 gold off of this mushroom merchant. You cannot complete the quest without having this and then just put it on your hotbar and you actually won't see your first snail until you kill the first boss. So go ahead and clear there and make your way to the barrels. Now, once you get over to these barrels, you're gonna ride them and you're gonna see a snail sitting on one of these mushrooms. He can be kind of hard to see, so I'll go ahead and freeze frame it for you so you can see him. He's coming right around the corner. And as you can see, boom, he's sitting right there. And all you gotta do is use the fish ability to throw him into the water and he'll come down the waterfall. Now, you gotta be really careful because these guys only have 80 hit points, so make sure you don't attack them. You need to go up to them with the tablet, and you need to smash them with the tablet. If you do it any other way, you will fail the achievement, and you'll have to get the one that you missed um, that you, know, you didn't kill with the tablet. So, that is the first one, and then what you're gonna do is come back over to this waterfall, and you're actually just gonna swim all the way down, through this little, uh, this little cavern right here and you'll run into the next snail. Now the big thing with this snail is, is he's got like this weird little um, like barrier almost that he drops that you can't just run up and uh, hit him. So what we did is I just taunted him. It kind of sends him going all sporadic and uh, you just gotta wait for him to get out of that. He does occasionally drop that little like plasma thing right there we were going to kill these ads, but we decided to kind of see what would happen um, and see if he roamed anywhere else or if he was going to go back there. And then we would have went from there. Thankfully, though, he ended up coming back over this way and we were able to uh, smash him real quick and move on. So it's just kind of one of those. Make sure you're patient and all that. And um, he will make his way around. You just got to kind of wait it out and um you know just just don't rush or what you can do is you can pull those mobs just make sure you don't aoe uh too hard because you don't want to accidentally kill these snails like i said they've only got the 80 hp and um i mean that's just that's one swing and boom you have to come back on a different run to get just the one snail now right here on the map you can see this is the way to go to the third snail just clear your way through this little cavern area um, pretty easy we're already three snails in and we haven't even hit the second boss so um, right there you're just about halfway like I said there's seven snails um, but you do got to get a little bit farther um, along to get the other snails but as long as you guys honestly just clear the instance how you normally would um, this this isn't anything you know ridiculously out of the way it's a couple minutes to, you know, through here, and then there's one other spot that you got to do in order to uh, get the, um, uh, there's like well, uh, another snail that's kind of off the beaten path, you know, so, but anyway, so you come up here, and he is hiding right here. He's a little transparent, but he's not too hard to see. Like I said, just run up, smash him, boom, you've already gotten three snails down, and we're almost uh, at the home stretch. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kill the second boss. Once you kill the second boss, you're going to come down here and you'll see these three snails. There are ads to the right, so make sure you do pull them away. Uh, all we did was pull them back and cleared them. And then I just came up here and I just started smashing these snails. This gives you snail four, five, and six, leaving you with one more snail to clear. Um, that dude like got away real quick. It is, it's a little tricky. You just got to kind of time it out but it shouldn't take too long unless you're a horrible shot with it. And we're down to one more snail, which is down over in this cavern area. You will have to kill all the crocs right there, We uh, or the basilisk. We did kill them uh, just so we could kind of get pushed through right here. And then you're gonna run into this den filled with basilisks. They're nothing special. I think they have like 1.7K hit points right around there. And all we did is we cleared out the um, out this cave, and what you will see is the snail is up on the ceiling in that top right. We'll mark it here in a second so you can see. But we just cleared it out just in case because we weren't sure if um, if you got too close if he would drop down, and you don't want to be down there fighting. It's marked with a skull. He's just kind of sitting up there. 
Uh, so I would just say play it safe. I don't know if he drops if you get too close or not. Uh, and it's just better safe than sorry, you know. Or, you know, you don't want an AoE, you know, flying off the handles and accidentally killing them. So we kill this last pack right here. We just uh, throw a Glaive Toss over here and grab him. And then uh, all I did to get this snail is I hit my taunt button. Any tank should be able to just hit their taunt button and it will knock him down. So I targeted him right here and I just hit taunt and he just kind of drops it down. And then you smash him and there it is ladies and gentlemen. Got to catch them all achievement. Simple, simple, simple. Hopefully this helped. If it did, you know, drop a like. Always appreciate it. We're working our way through all these achievements. So stay tuned on my channel and we will definitely have the rest of the achievements put up. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.